New developments today in a high-profile murder case. Lawyers for the woman accused of killing her boyfriend. A Boston police officer say she didn't do it. And they're now raising questions about the prosecution's evidence. Our Michael Rosenfield joining us live outside the courthouse in Denham with details on the courtroom drama that played out today. Michael. Well, Priscilla, Karen Reed says she's being framed and she had nothing to do with the death of her boyfriend. Both sides painting a very different picture of what happened that night. Karen Reed is accused of killing her boyfriend on a stormy night in 2022. Investigators claim she backed into him with her car outside this home in Canton and then left the scene. And John O'Keefe was found in a snowbank hours later. Fifteen months ago, these false allegations began to destroy her life. Her lawyers argue she's being framed, that O'Keefe, a Boston police officer, was never hit by a car, but rather beaten up by someone in the Canton house where a party was taking place, and then attacked by the homeowner's German shepherd, showing the judge what they believe are bite marks on O'Keefe's arm. At the time he was beaten, facially, and, and blunt force was used against the back of his head, he was also attacked by an animal. In court Wednesday, Reed's attorneys argued they haven't had access to evidence that could clear her, including clothing, car parts, and autopsy reports. Why some of the items are still uh, contained at the lab is because the testing is still yet to be completed. Prosecutors say there's no indication anyone other than Reed is responsible for her boyfriend's death and say the defense has embarked on a fishing expedition. There's no evidence uh, that Mr. O'Keefe was beaten and left for dead. There was no evidence of any defensive wounds. Reed's attorney Attorneys asked the judge to set deadlines for when prosecutors must turn over all the evidence they possess so they can test it themselves. Contrary to what the Commonwealth constantly says, oh, well, this is just fishing, I think we've established this is not just fishing. We've got a fish on the hook. We just need the, the, the court to help us reel it in. So Karen Reed remains free on bail while this case continues to wind its way through the court system. Both sides will be back in court later this month to discuss more evidence in the case. We're live in Dedham tonight, Michael Rosenfield, NBC10 Boston.